President Obama outlined a combination of proposals to limit greenhouse gases and strengthen environmental standards. Dr. Jeff Masters of Weather Underground has researched and written extensively on climate change. He joins us live now with his reaction. And Dr. Masters, your first impressions, did the proposals go far enough and were his words strong enough? He did a great job crafting that speech. He hit all the right notes, said the right things, got the young crowd on his side there. And he did what was politically possible. I mean, without congressional approval, there's only so much the president can do. And one of those things is to regulate power plants, which right now can emit as much carbon dioxide as they want. So that was key moving forward. And I was very optimistic about his speech. Now, one of the things the president talked about was building for a future with more intense storms. Let's listen, listen to that. And we'll partner with communities seeking to help to prepare for droughts and floods reduce the risk of wildfires, protect the dunes and wetlands that pull double duty as green space and as natural storm barriers. And we'll also open our climate data and NASA climate imagery to the public to make sure that cities and states assess risk under different climate scenarios so that uh, we don't waste money building structures that don't withstand the next storm. Speaking of the next storms, with storms getting more intense, with more billion dollar disasters, can we build, can we rebuild structures for an uncertain future? Certainly we can. We need to be smart about what we do. We have to stop building in vulnerable areas like barrier islands. And right now the National Flood Insurance Program encourages people to build in high risk areas. Something like 40% of all the payouts go to 2% of the properties, ones that are multiply damaged over time. So. A lot of common sense sorts of approaches can work, and we need to elevate structures so that they're higher as the sea level rises, they won't get damaged as much. Now, the president also spoke about upping the ante on wind and solar power. Let's listen in on that. The plan I'm announcing today will help us double again our energy from wind and sun. Today, I'm directing the Interior Department to green light enough private renewable energy capacity on public lands to power more than 6 million homes by 2020. So doubling wind and solar power, is that enough? It's a start. It's certainly not enough. We're only in the few percent range for the amount of power we get from these sorts of sources. Uh, in Germany, they get about 50% of their power from renewable sources. That's more like where we need to be. But we have to start somewhere, and it's certainly a positive first step to double these things in the next few years. Well, Dr. Jeff Masters, we appreciate your expert opinion on this here from Weather Underground. Uh, this is certainly a topic that we're going to continue to tackle right here on the Weather Channel.